السلام علیکم ہائی فرینڈس آئی ویلکم یو بیک ٹو مائی چینل ریڈیالوجی فنڈامنٹلس آئی ایم انجیلا شفات اینڈ یو آر واچنگ دا سکس ویڈیو لیکچر آف مائی چینل ریڈیالوجی فنڈامنٹلس اف یو آر نیو ٹو مائی چینل ہٹ دا ریڈ سبسکرائب بٹن اینڈ اے بیل آئیکن ٹو واچ مائی نیکسٹ لیکچرس آف ریڈیالوجی فنڈامنٹلس لیٹ اسٹارٹ ایور ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک وچ از اباؤٹ ریڈیشن یونٹس سو اوور فرسٹ ریڈیشن یونٹ ان دس چیپٹر ٹو بی ڈسکسڈ از ریڈیشن ایکسپوجر I have made a very simple definition of radiation exposure here which says it is a major of strength of the x-ray or gamma rays which means how much x-ray or gamma rays has got the ability of being strong their measurement is called as radiation exposure and I have also defined it as it is the quantity of charge of the ions produced in the unit mass of air or tissue which means how much number of charges of ions are produced in a unit mass of air or tissue. As you know from the radiation source, radiation is coming, isn't it? For example, if we take off an X-ray tube, from X-ray tube, radiation is coming. And that radiation which is coming from the radiation source, that is called actually radiation exposure in very, very simple words. All right. I can also say that the exposure, radiation exposure is the quantity that expresses the concentration of radiations delivered to a specific point. such as the surface of human body all right moving towards the unit of radiation exposure the si unit is coulomb per kg all right and when we talk about the old unit that is international unit that is rontgen all right Moving towards the second unit of this chapter which is absorbed dose. Absorbed dose is defined as the amount of energy deposited per unit mass of a tissue which simply says absorbed dose is the concentration of energy deposited in tissue as a result of an exposure to ionizing radiations. Note here that in this case it means the energy absorbed by human tissue. Like sunlight can penetrate deep into the body, same x-rays can get deposited into the internal organs of the body so it deposit its energy into the internal organs x-rays can even pass through the person's body so we can say absorbed dose describes the intensity of the energy here usually absorbed dose is measured in joule per kg or urge per kg which is a, it's an important question as far as the objective type questions are concerned when we talk of si unit of absorbed dose it is gray important international unit is red and which is the old unit also so one gray is equivalent to 100 red and one red is equivalent to 0.01 gray important as far as the objective type questions and the third unit of radiation here is dose equivalent which describes the relative radiation risk resulting from a particular type of radiation we can simply say it is used to assess how much biological damage is expected from the absorbed dose different types of radiations have different damaging properties noted out here, noted down here and when we talk about equivalent dose it's actually the amount that takes the damaging properties of different types of radiations into account it's a measure of biological effectiveness of radiation the si unit here of dose equivalent is sievert s i v e r t and the old unit is rem uh, make a note of it here it's important as far as the objective type question is concerned one sievert is equivalent to 100 rems now moving towards the fourth unit of radiation which is effective dose effective dose is the amount of radiation exposure that is sufficient to achieve the desired clinical improvement which means it is used to prevent how good the absorbed dose of radiation might be at producing an effect on human body so it accounts for the effectiveness or quantity of radiation all right effective dose is used to assess the potential for long term effect that might occur in the future so it relates to the overall long term risk to a person from a procedure this effective dose is becoming very useful radiation quantity for expressing relative risk to human both patients as well as the other persons like 
occupational worker who is working in uh, the radiology department so effective dose is equivalent to absorbed dose into waiting factor equivalent to absorbed dose into waiting tissue waiting factor when we talk about this tissue waiting factor it is a major of the effectiveness of the radiation type all right now the si unit for effective dose is severed make a note of it which is important as far as the objective type question is concerned difference between absorbed dose versus equivalent dose absorbed dose tells us the energy deposited in small volume of tissue and equivalent dose addresses the impact that type of radiation has on that tissue so this is so simple and very important as far as the very short questions are concerned so hope you like my lecture so any queries questions or confusions regarding this lecture you can comment in a comment session or you can dm me on my instagram id mentioned in the description of this video for notes of this lecture you can also dm me on my instagram id thank you for watching take care